It's Maddie. Oh my god. So now, are you that girl who watches horror movies at the edge of your seat, or do you watch them like this? I watch them like this. Yeah. <laughs> I actually watch them with earplugs, like that. I um, or I don't watch them at all. I do watch them on the edge of my seat, like what's gonna happen next. But then when I know what's gonna, like something's gonna happen, I'm sitting there like this. I just got this weird email. What's the most that you've ever freaked yourself out? This movie has a lot of scenes where people walk into a room and you just know like freaky things are lurking about it. Do you ever do that to yourself psychologically? Oh yeah, in my mind. Well, I live by the rule um, that if you're alone, you will get it. And if you're not alone, nothing will happen to you. So in the middle of the night, if I have to go to the bathroom, I'll wake my dog up and make her come to the bathroom with me. Because if, if someone else is there, nothing will happen. But you know, all hell could break loose if you're by yourself in the dark. The look of the movie is exactly the look of, of the world we were living in at that moment. Two months in Romania shooting the film. Um, and of course, it's a scary movie, which is dark as it is. So the setting it just makes you feel exactly the feeling you might be experiencing throughout one particular scene in the movie. For me, I thought the creepiest scene was seeing that, that eye in the bathtub like coming up from oh, the yeah. bottom. With, have, how was that scene to shoot? Like, Did you have like the strategic suds person helping you out? Yeah, I did. Well, I, and I actually had like a nude suit on, so they just sort of, I think, just like smoothed out the line of like where you could see it if it was on camera, but um, they were really respectful. That's what was in the bathroom. And then on the bus, it's following me. Now, are you that wired girl? Or you have Blackberry and, you know, get your cell phone, got like 10 gadgets on you right now? I have one gadget. I live by my sidekick, which is also my phone, and I, I hate that I'm so addicted to it, but I need it so badly. I am guilty of, I can't even knock anybody for it, but imagine five, six, maybe what, eight, 10 years ago, we weren't using our cell phones, and here we are, which just everything is built on technology. Um, I'm utterly addicted to it, but sometimes I, I hate that I have it in my hands all the time. You know what, I won't admit to the driving and writing, that's not me. If you could get away with it while we were talking right now, would you be like? I, I wouldn't even need to look and I could type a full email and I wouldn't even need to look. That's how, it, that's how, that's how much a part of my body it is. <laughs> you just never know. There might be some frequency out there, some kind of wireless frequency that could be opened up and next thing you know, we're connected to this unknown being that's supernatural and very scary. They were looking for a door and we gave it to them. Oh,